This Focus on Health segment is brought to you by Aurora Healthcare. Hello and welcome to another edition of Focus on Health. I'm Ted Stefaniak. We're at the Aurora Health Center in Oshkosh where we're dealing with a very serious topic and one every parent should really be aware of. It's childhood obesity and it's on the rise, up 200% over the last six years. And we are now joined by Dr. Patricia Morales here at the uh, Aurora Health Center. She is a, do a family doctor here at the hospital. And doctor, tell us a little bit about childhood obesity. Uh, obesity. What, how do we define that these days? A child is considered obese, obese when the relationship between his height and weight is way over proportion. We use a parameter called body mass index um, that precisely relates that, height and weight. Uh, we have different categories uh, to establish that um, kids that are under the first percentile per weight and height according with the age are considered underweight. Between the fifth and uh, 85th percentile are normal, you know, are growing in a healthy height and weight. Those that are over the 85th percentile but below the 95th percentile are considered overweight but those kids that are over the 95th percentile are considered obese. And these are parameters that are defined by the American Pediatric Association, the American Gastroenterologic Association, and the American Family Medicine um, Academy. Doctor, when we're talking about childhood obesity, what are some of the things we can do to, to prevent this issue? Uh, the main issue is screen time and activity, okay? So screen time is defined by the time that a child or person in general spends in front of the TV, computer, uh, video games, those kind of stuff that implies a screen. Okay. Um, researchers have noted that more than two hours a day uh, of non-school activity related spent on TV or computers increases the likelihood of a child become obese. Why? because they are sitting down, they are not exercising, and especially with TV, they have a lot of commercials that promote sugar-like food, and that's what they get the message from. The other issue is that the more time they spend, they spend sitting down, the less activity they have. Even though they might have uh, games like Wii or uh, a lot of interactive video games, is not the same effect that of a child that is uh, practicing the sport itself. You know, riding a bike, uh, running around. And if you guys have seen commercials now, the NFL has this play 60. It's a campaign to prevent these kind of issues, to promote the, the um, physical activity in kids. Well, you know, a lot of people have kids, and, and some of them maybe a little bit large on the larger side. But uh, I think a lot of people would say, well, well, my child is not obese. How do we know if our child is considered clinically obese? Again, we'll go back to the body mass index. Um, every healthy kid should be measured height and weight at least once a year by their provider. And if this parameter, according with the growth charts, falls above the 95th percentile, that kid is considered obese. Um, some people might say, yeah, but I'm a big person, or my wife is a big woman. Um, yeah, they have some impact, but it should not uh, exceed that parameter, okay? Um, the, other, the other issue is that some kids might follow a normal growth chart, and all of the sudden they jump two or three um, percentiles. That's really concerning. Um, if a kid had been following the 50th percentile and all of a sudden is in the 75th and 95th percentile, we have to find out what's happening at, at that point in stage that the kid, you know, gains so much weight. Um, the term obesity has a lot of stigma and a lot of people feel reluctant to use it. And there's different um, nomenclatures to prevent those kind of a stigma kind of labels. But um, we have to call things for the names. Sure, you know? sure. 
Sure. If, if we are dealing with a, a child who's, who's dealing with obesity, what are some of the risk factors that are involved with childhood obesity? The main problems are chronic uh, diseases like diabetes, heart disease, hypertension, um, problems that you might see in elderly population. And it's because um, the body is managing way more weight than they are supposed to. Okay. So you see more kids with diabetes, type 2 diabetes, that was considered uh, elderly or mature stage. You can see it in young kids nowadays. Uh, kids with problems with cholesterol that are mainly depending on the kind of nutrition, the food they get. So we're talking about some pretty serious issues. Yes. So it's important to, to find out if your child is considered obese. If they are diagnosed as uh, obese, what are some of the treatments parents and, and children can, can undergo? Okay, I think this is something that implies a family involvement okay and mainly lifestyle modifications because the kid doesn't feed himself you know they don't prepare the meals one of the the main keys they have found is the people don't eat breakfast they don't eat together you know the parents barely are involved in whatever the kids do to throughout the day so it's okay easy things like eating breakfast together have breakfast every day cereal, fruit, um, um, healthy snacks. Uh, there's this rule that a normal person should eat five fruits and vegetables a day, combination between three fruits, two vegetables, that kind of stuff. You can barely get that nowadays. Uh, the school snacks are mainly carbohydrates. Some schools are prom uh, promoting changing the snacks into fruits, vegetables, and um, even you can see that there's some uh, TV shows that made like vegetables try to make veggies friendly to kids. So first of all, the parents have to get involved with the kid, trying to limit the screen time, include uh, fruits and vegetables, five portions a day, uh, exercise activity, minimum 30 minutes a day, um, ideally 60 minutes of play time a day. I think with those simple measures that seem simple but are really difficult to achieve, uh, we can help prevent these kind of problems. Sounds like a great idea. We, we need to take care of those kids, that's for sure. Dr. Morales, we thank you for taking some time today to join us. Yeah, thank you so much for taking me here. <laughs> If you'd like to schedule an appointment with Dr. Morales, please call Aurora Health Center at 920-303-8700. I'm Ted Stefaniak. We'll see you next time on Focus on Health. This Focus on Health segment has been brought to you by Aurora Healthcare.